on Tuesday, NHS students walked out to show support for Palestinians and to call for peace in the Middle East. The walkout, organized by NHS students Oscar Patterson, Sansa Parzibuk, and Unu Weaver, was met with a complex response from administration. In an email sent out last Thursday by Mr. Worley to all teachers, he asked them to remove all posters about the event from the school and to not attend the walkout. He explained that because it was not a school-sponsored event, students could only hand out posters in public spaces and not hang them on walls or in classrooms. He continued to say, quote, some of the flyers they have been distributing focus on Palestine. This is not what we agreed to, end quote. During the walkout, there were many student speeches, including some by the organizers and others by Jewish and Palestinian students and NHS alum. Throughout the whole duration of the event, the walkout remained peaceful, with students taking up chants such as, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. We spoke with students, organizers, faculty, and Principal Worley to discover the intentions of the walkout and how it was met by the school community. I think the walkout went really well. Um, I don't know, everything went as planned, um, and we were able to have everybody speak, and we were able to hand out pamphlets with information on them, and um, overall it, it went really well, I think. With this walkout, the group that's organizing it hopes to accomplish um, the spread of information and letting the students know that we don't support the struggle of the Palestinian people and we hope to raise awareness and to educate people who don't know a lot about the conflict and who, can, who write off that they should be able to speak about it because they don't know about it. Students are really hungry for information students are hungry for accurate information and they're struggling to find information that they can trust. Um, I've heard from numerous students that they're frustrated that faculty is not engaging them for the most part um, with current events, especially with this conflict in Israel and in Gaza. I, I definitely have the sense that, that we as a community are, are stifled. Um, I think a lot of it is, is self-imposed though. And uh, I wish that as a community we could be doing more to educate students um, and to especially address this issue of miscommunication and the fact that um, this event has been really polarizing. I think when people are um, educated about a situation, especially one that's really divisive, um, it brings um, a sort of confidence when speaking about the subject and teaching others about the subject that we really hope to gain with this walkout. There's so much misinformation and so much hate being thrown around and with this walkout we just want to make voices heard and spread education. Overall, you really have to look at the big picture and not be so focused on this sort of melodramatic discourse that's playing out at home, but really look at the brutal reality of what's going on in Gaza right now. The way we're supporting students who are walking out is by creating as safe uh, a, an environment as possible, and that's complicated once we get outside and uh, also that it's become something that the community is uh, aware of, and we have to kind of manage the perimeter to make sure that it's as safe as possible. Um, then inside, uh, my hope is that you know students who aren't participating are staying in class and that learning continues. We'll have uh, counselors available uh, for support. I think the intentions behind the walkout are good and that it is a good idea in general, but I think it's being executed insensitively. I wish both flags were represented in the posters because people will interpret the Palestinian flag in different ways if it is not being clarified. And all the posters are kind of saying different things so it really isn't being clarified. Lastly, there has been such a rise in anti-Semitism since October 7th, and I think that the way the walkout is being organized, I've experienced more division in the school, which is scary as a Jewish person. There is no place for anti-Semitism or Islamophobia at this walkout. We will have speakers, Jewish speakers, who are anti-Zionist or pro-peace in Palestine, share their perspective. It's not the goal of anyone organizing this walkout, and it's not my goal to perpetuate hate about the Jewish community or what Israel is doing. I feel like walkouts um, are visual. Uh, they, uh, they generate a lot of attention. Uh, so when it comes to calling attention to 
uh, a concern or an issue, I do believe that they are effective. If you don't think that you have a say, if you don't think that your voice matters, it does. Spread awareness, talk to your family members, talk to your friends, boycott companies, and let the American government know that we do not stand on the side of the oppressor. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any further questions, reach out to the organizers of the event. See you next week.